This is the most, in my opinion, the three most important things that a business owner should be doing when it comes to commercial awareness. Number one is produce, whatever size you are, a monthly profit and loss. No longer care about annual accounts. Annual accounts are for tax. They're for raising finance, well, profit and losses for raising finance as well. So you need to look how profitable you are on a monthly basis. Screw the annual accounts. But accountants mess them around for tax reasons. They move this over there, they move that over there. They don't, the reason these are called management accounts, there's a clue in the title. They help you manage. Annual accounts, there's a clue in the title. They help you look at it annually. I didn't start producing management accounts until we were like into the two million phase. Just didn't do it. I'll tell you how I judged how good our business was doing, by what was in the bank. You never want to be the accountant that says, I'll know how profitable I am once my accountant tells me. You don't ever want to be the accountant that says, I've just got to give all my receipts to the, the accountant and then they'll tell me how profitable I am. This is the right way round. Listen carefully. You tell your accountant how profitable you are through management accounts and then your accountant makes it tax efficient. That's the right way round. You tell your accountant, not your accountant tells you. Now, this is easier than ever before. Who's got Xero or QuickBooks? It's easier than ever before. If you've got Sage, frankly, any business up to three million of revenue should have a one page set of accounts at the end by the, what the rule of thumb is, by the 15th of the month, you should have the previous month's accounts. I get them 30 days after now because we're much bigger. We've got 11 sites, five day nurseries, Uncle Tom Cobbley and all working for us. So it takes ages to get all the invoices together. But monthly management accounts will change your life. Who's producing monthly management accounts? People produce them, who's looking at them and really using them to help you make decisions? This is really important. Number two, the second KPI. Do you know, really, what you should force yourself that you don't look in the bank if you're not producing them. You guys, uh, Johnny and Matt, see, you don't produce monthly management accounts. How often do you look in the bank to see what's in the bank? Yeah, well, imagine if you did that every week. I promise you that's more important. Number two is your labour to turnover ratio. This is the second KPI. The biggest business, oh, sorry, the biggest cost in most businesses walks on two legs. We need to find out what is the ratio for our sector? So if you work in retail, it's about 13% of your turnover goes on staff. If you own a day nursery, it's 50%. If you're in software, it's 80%. If you're in leisure, it's 25 to 30%. I don't know what it will be for every single industry. That's what, you know, most people go, oh, James, what about in my industry? I don't know it for every industry, but for those ones that I've just described, because they're my businesses, I do know. So you need to find out what the labour to turnover ratio is for your business. Here's the next piece of advice. If I'm a loft builder in Durham, I need to go and find a loft builder in Brighton that's in a different geographical patch to me and say, hey, you've got a similar size business to me. Can we meet up twice a year, three times a year, I'll come to you once, you come to me once, and we'll chew the fat. I'll show you my management accounts, you show me your management accounts, you'll see where he's making some savings. He said, blimey, his insurance is half the cost of ours. Who are you using there? That one day can literally save you tens of thousands of pounds. I do it in every industry that I work in. I share my management accounts for our farm park with other farm park owners that are not on my doorstep. How are you getting your labour under so much control? And they go, oh, we did this, this, and this. And then we've taken this, this, and this and put it into our business. Lo and behold, 20, 30,000 pounds saved. And for them too, so that works both ways, yeah? Point number three, the big one. Average customer value. Spend per head, whatever you want to call it. So many businesses are so hot on raising revenues, and I'm like, yeah, I get that, but what you really want to raise is your average customer value. How do you work it out? You get your turnover, you divide it by the amount of customers you've got. Under commercial awareness, if you do those, frankly, right, even if you just did number one, I'm over the moon. But those are the three things that I look at religiously. I look at average customer value. So at Marsh Farm, I get sent our weekly income sheet or a daily income sheet, we call it the DIS. I get sent it and I'm looking at those two things. I'm looking, what have we spent, what's our average customer, what people spent on retail, what they spent on food, what they spent on emissions, and what have we spent on a percentage of labor. And if they're low or high, 
I want a description of why from my team. Sorry we spent too much on labour today. We had training. Fine, I understand it. Give me a reason for it. So you're going to do some shopping around if you don't know the answers to those things on labour yet. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it to help grow your business. Don't forget you can watch more of my videos by clicking here. And don't forget to hit subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking this button right here. It gets better than that because you can come and see me at one of my seminars to help grow your business. All the details of how you can get to one of those for free is in the video description.